Oh, so you know, this deserves to be called a 10 out of 10 series, yo. Hello, welcome back to the James Rambling Reviews for yet another episode in today's episode. You're probably thinking to yourself, why on earth did you put on an impression in a weird, a, a kind of like Brooklyn, New York, Mafia sounding kind of character voice thing? Well, because today's video is going to be focusing on the other half of the Penguin which I did cover episodes 1 to 3 a month ago and I don't think I mentioned in the video at all that I was going to be doing my own little mini deep dive on episodes 4 through 8 and so I will give you my thoughts on every episode and give them a rating out of 10 and this will not be a spoiler type of video as episode 8 just came out last night and I actually got done watching episode 8 an hour ago or so and usually I have this condition where, or like this terms and conditions with my channel and to myself I'm like you need to sit down and let this sink in, let all of your thoughts lock in but with The Penguin because of how uh, amazing every single episode has gotten I have to talk about it right now, right now, right this instant because if I don't then I would be r wasting my time and I'll be taking too long to talk about how great this absolute masterpiece show is and so let me just I'll link down below my review of episodes 1 to 3 and let me cook with how I felt about episodes 4 through 8 let's get this show on the road now and get to the point baby so pretty much with episode 4 right I felt like when I watched that four weeks ago, I still remember it to this day, honestly, because I was watching episodes week by week. I feel like that episode, what it really did encapsulate for the story was amazing because we actually got to see the backstory of Sophia and how her kind of relevance to this whole lore of the Penguin universe, that was just incredible, impeccable writing right there. And I think I would have absolutely gave that episode a solid 7 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10 even, 9.5 out of 10 episode even. That was just super duper amazing to see how they really decided to do that with her character and go somewhere where, where I wasn't expecting and so episode 5 was super duper interesting because then it followed up with how Sophia got her backstory and then it doubles down on the Mafia chaos and that was just an awesome episode. Another solid like 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10 type of freaking show. I don't care if I rub my nose there. My nose is freaking itchy. Let's get this freaking discussion going. Let's keep it going right because when you get into episode 6, you get to see how, you get to see how, you know, the Penguin kind of continues to, you know, go to new levels, new strengths, get higher up in the world where he starts a drug empire and I won't spoil how all that goes down but how it just keeps expanding the universe and how it just keeps going for it, the craziness keeps cranking up to 11, that was just awesome and again I would absolutely give that episode a solid 9 out of 10, no sugar coating it, no milking it, no this, no that because it was just awesome stuff right there. Oh no. Right, just ignore that. I, I don't care if I rub my nose while I do this because this is awesome TV right here. And so, yeah, that's why I would say about episodes four through six, just absolute consistency all across the board. And also, every single episode is well paced, just like episodes one, two, and three. And then you get to episode seven and episode eight, where episode seven really does this thing where it does lift the stakes up higher and higher and higher to this pivotal point where you get to see the backstory more lore, more interesting shenanigans and plot twists with Ozcob as a character and even though the episode was 40 minutes long so much was going on, so much was happening, I was like yeah this was freaking awesome, dude, and I would absolutely give that one, like, a solid 9 out of 10. Like, we are cranking up really closely to a masterpiece here, so that once you get into the finale of the series, it is a fucking masterpiece! And 
Usually I would never swear in my videos, but just to keep the fun going and the interest and, you know, kind of hype going with a show, it was a fucking masterpiece, baby. Wow, like absolute television because it was paying off everything that this show did and this show promised to deliver. And yeah, this is probably the best way I can describe everything that was going on with my own thoughts while rubbing my nose five times because, you know... I'm not meant to be a channel, you know, where I'm always professional, I'm some freaking professional movie reviewer, I'm here to have fun, and so yeah, this is a different flow of review, I know, but this is the best, you know, most deep cut version I could think of when it comes to the Penguin Show, so hope you enjoyed this review, and stay tuned for more like it, you know, you deserve this video sooner rather than later, y'all, bye.